What's up, my bodacious bards? I know I haven't posted any new videos in a long while, but instead of playing music or Mordow lately, I've been busy developing a Discord bot with a library of now over 200,000 MIDIs. So, you're welcome. You can see the Discord bot in action over on my Bards Guild Discord server, and as you'll see in this video, searching the MIDI library is also integrated into Lootbot now. If you'd like to learn more about how I built the Discord bot or MIDI library, leave a comment and let me know. Lootbot and Lootmod have changed a lot since the last video I made. At this point, there are many old and bad tutorials out there that now have inaccurate, outdated instructions. I'm here to set things straight for you with the definitive setup guide on the latest versions of Lootbot and Lootmod. As Bardlord Lootmaster of the official Bard's Guild Discord server, which is home to the Bard's Guild MIDI library and the place where the Lootbot and Lootmod maintainers also hang out, I can tell you with confidence that you should disregard any other guides you've found and follow this one instead. First, let's clear up what the difference is between Lootbot and Lootmod. Lootbot is a standalone application that can convert a MIDI file into console commands for Mordow, or with a little help, output to any game with a MIDI interface, like the Instruments DLC in Rust. There are some presets built into Lootbot for Mordow and Rust specifically, but Lootbot isn't actually limited to compatibility with only these games. Lootbot has been around since the early days of Mordow. It can only interface with Mordow using console commands though, because it's a third-party application and not an actual game mod, and Mordow doesn't actually support MIDI input the way Rust does, so playing songs using Lootbot in Mordow can be pretty janky. Lootmod is an actual Mordow mod instead, and lets you seamlessly select and play songs directly in-game. But because Lootmod is an actual Mordow mod, it can't actually read the MIDI files directly. It can only read files in an Unreal Engine format. This is why we still need Lootbot with Lootmod. Lootbot converts our MIDI files to an Unreal Engine format and adds them to Lootmod as song partitions. Then we can play our songs in-game with Lootmod instead of playing them with Lootbot. Essentially, we're just using Lootbot to build our playlist for Lootmod now. Alright, now let's actually get started by grabbing the latest loot bot from GitHub. You can use the link in the description to get there. Click on Releases on the right, then the lootbot.zip file. Make sure you're grabbing the first one and not the source code files here. To use lootbot, we just need to extract the zip file we downloaded to a folder somewhere. This can really be anywhere you want. You could go ahead and even put it on the desktop if you want to live like a barbarian. Then all we need to do is run the exe file in that directory, and Lootbot will launch. Lootbot will now try to install Lootmod automatically when first launched. If it doesn't do this, you can also install Lootmod from the options menu in Lootbot. You might get a couple error messages related to a missing partition index, but that's normal. We will just need to launch the game and initialize the Lootmod partition index to fix this before we can load any songs. When we start up Mordow, we should see the mod loader pop up in the corner at the main menu now, if Lootmod is installed correctly. Next, just start a local match, wait for it to load, then equip a loot and press the kick button until you see the partition menu pop up. Once you can see the partition menu in game, we're ready to start converting songs. Let's go back to Lootbot and try out that guild library integration I was telling you about. Just click the yellow Guild Library button, type in a search, select your song, and hit play. We can see the song now loaded into Lootbot, with the different tracks and instruments from the MIDI file displayed along with a piano roll of the song. I'll make another video later going over the track filtering settings in more detail, but let's keep it simple for this install guide. We can just click the Save Current Song button in the Partition menu and give our song a name. Now, in-game, all we need to do is press our kick button to open the song menu, and we should see our song name here now. Just press the number of the song you want to load, then press your faint key to play or pause the song. And that's it! We're done here! No need to edit any config files or install a mod loader separately anymore. You're good to go. Happy barding, and remember to equip Dodge out there! If you're running into any problems, I included a link to the Bards Guild wiki in the description where you can find a lot of troubleshooting information for both Lootbot and Lootmod. 
If you have any other questions, there's also a link to the Bard's Guild Discord server, where we have a support channel for Lootbot and Loot Mod. Or you can just chat with me there about stuff or whatever. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>